Hello there, Mr. Sutton here with the Pre-Cal Honors 7-2 Extra Practice Number 2 Solutions on Classifying Conic Sections. For this problem, trying to identify this conic section. So for this one, since A squared, or since A and B are both the same sign, and they're both squared, that tells me this is either going to be a circle or an ellipse. And if I were to expand these out, I would see that I had 1x squared and 1y squared. A and B are the same number, um, so that's going to be, since A equals B, that's going to be a circle. For this problem, I notice I've got two squared terms, so that means this can't be a parabola. And I notice that I have sub opposite signs for X squared and Y squared. A and B have opposite signs. We have one negative squared term, um, so that means this could only be a hyperbola. On this problem, I notice that I only have one squared term, uh, so that means since I only have one squared variable, this has to be a parabola. For this problem, I notice that I've got two squared terms, so it's not a parabola, and A and B have the same sign, they're both positive, so this is either a circle or an ellipse, and I notice that the coefficients of x squared and y squared, A and B, are the same number, they're both invisible ones, that means this must be a circle. On this problem, I notice I've got two squared terms, so it's not a parabola. And I notice that x squared and y squared both have the same sign. A and B are both positive. So that means this is either a circle or an ellipse. Um, now, if I were to actually expand all this out and divide by 9 and 16, I'd see that the coefficients of x squared and y squared are different. A does not equal B, in other words. So that means we must be dealing with an ellipse. For this problem, I notice we have two squared terms, so it's not a parabola. And I notice that these two terms both have positive coefficients. A and B are both positive. Um, so that means that we must be dealing with an ellipse or a circle. Since A and B are different, 16 and 19 are not the same, that means that we have an ellipse. For this problem, I notice I only have one squared variable. That means that this must be a parabola. On this problem, I've got two squared variables, so it's not a parabola. They both have the same sign. A and B are both positive, so that means I either have a circle or an ellipse. And since the coefficients of x and y squared, A and B are both one, they're both the same, most importantly, that means this must be a circle. On this problem, I notice I've got two squared variables, so it's not a parabola. One of the variables is negative, only one of them is negative. So since I have one negative squared term, that means this must be a hyperbola. On this problem, I've got two squared terms, so it's not a parabola. And I notice that these both have the same sign. Uh, so that means since these are both positive, or at least have the same sign, that it's either a circle or an ellipse. Now I also notice that a and b, the coefficients of x and y squared, are equal to each other. Since I have both coefficients being the same, that means this has to be a circle. 